Greetings fellow racers and welcome to another Kansai's tuning guide within the world of Forza Horizon 5. In today's episode we are diving into a vehicle, or rather a brand, that made its triumphant return to the Forza Horizon series. I'm talking about a formidable contender in the realm of German mid-class powerhouses. The Alfa Romeo Giulia Quattrifoglio. This Italian V6 beast, boasting a formidable 510 HP, sent solely to its rear axle, is an absolute force in any scenario. This dominance translates seamlessly into Forza Horizon 5. The Julia Quadrifolio can truly hold its own against its German counterparts, particularly the older generation models or those that have been phased out. However, it's worth noting that the new M4, for instance, often outshines it in various situations, despite what the performance index might suggest. The stock Julia handles rather competently. The rear end can get a touch loose, especially with aggressive steering inputs. Conversely, it's prone to understeering if you dive into corners with excessive speed. While the Alpha can certainly be quick, precise cornering is an absolute necessity. This is where my tune enters the equation. The understeer issue is skillfully rectified, shifting the balance slightly towards controlled oversteer, creating a more natural driving experience compared to stuck. As power gains and weight loses are minimal, you won't notice significant changes in acceleration or top speed. However, the improvements in handling and gearing significantly enhance the driving dynamics. The differential settings even allow you to indulge in some well-controlled drifts, as evident in the end of the video. This turn of events positions the Julia as a versatile candidate for sprint and circuit events. And during free roam jaunts, you can artfully paint the Mexican roads with your tire tracks. And let it be known that all these adjustments fall within the PI range of 25. In the pipeline, I'm contemplating a comparison between the Julia and the F82 M4 in an upcoming video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. On the whole, the Julia Quattrifoglio emerges as a competitive car, demanding a fair degree of driving expertise and skill to harness its potential effectively. While it's certainly more forgiving than its stock configuration, bear in mind that there are other contenders in this class that offer a smoother learning curve. If this video has intrigued you thus far, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you are so inclined, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and until our next automotive rendezvous. Keep those engines roaring and the rubber burning.